go. Welcome to the house. Uh, we are in the house. This is where I sit and do a lot of this. Booking. Um, I know. Mom, the, uh, call, I call my wife mom. Mom, the flip phone has dropped like two or three calls today and I think it just needs to be retired at this point. So, welcome back to another one guys. Uh, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. Um, this is our third season running hunts here at Sand Hill and this is my third year doing this and calling all of you guys and, and booking you guys. And, and what's crazy is uh, every evening I sit down to do this, I, at the end of it, after I call 20 people or 10 or five, or maybe it was just that one guy um, that just freaked out, completely loses their mind. They can't believe it's me calling them, all that stuff. So. Uh, I decided to start filming uh, my calls. If they don't work out, then we'll just kind of ditch them. If they're funny and the things that I want you guys to see, they're going to make the cut. So, if you guys like this video, uh, you know what to do. Uh, just kind of giving you a look into what I do and how real it is. Um, I don't have a secretary. I don't hire people to go do this for me. This is my job, and uh, I'm very... Um, What's the right word? I'm very passionate about this. I'm very passionate about my job. So, let's get into it. So I have a little, we have a little directory here. All right, first person we're calling on the old antique flip phone is Bailey. Let's um, see what Bailey has. Just inquired 42 minutes ago. Uh, so this app that we run is awesome. He says, let's see, he, how many in group four to six was, run, was wondering if booking as a group grants better deals or if it is a set price uh, as one price per person. Also wondering if you book, say, three days instead of two, it would be cheaper. Uh, please get back to me at your convenience. Uh, we only do three-day hunts. So I, I don't know if he was asking if we do two days instead of three days or vice versa. Let's see if we can get a hold of him. Usually I get a ton of voicemails. You guys will see that. People think I'm a, a telemarketer from Kansas, I guess. And uh, they don't like, I, I get it. I really do. Wish me luck. Hey, is this Bailey? It is. This is Bobby Guy from Sand Hill Flyways. How are you? Oh, man. Oh, God. I didn't know you would be calling me. Dude, yeah, it's it's me every time. I get, Dude, I get that reaction so oh, often. Man. Okay, then. All right. Well, that's <laughs> not what I expected. <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually filming this call because I'm making a I call uh, my clients video. So it's just going to be like a montage of me talking to you, all you guys and calling you and seeing if we can make something work out. Oh, dude, I'll have to tell my buddies. They won't ever believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to make them go watch it. They'll never believe that I'm actually talking to you. I know, man. It's uh, This is literally the reaction I get every single time. So, it looks like you have four to six people, possible? Yeah, yeah. Oh, possible okay. four to six people. Okay, do you, is there a uh, certain date or a certain month that you have in mind that works for you best? Um, probably December. That's whenever my school schedule will end is uh, December 6th, so sometime after that. Now, I mean, if, if it's you know easier during November, I can certainly go on a weekend. But Okay, so let me give you a couple of options here. Um, mm -hmm. If you have three, I have two dates available. Actually, if you have four, even... Uh, a total of four. I have two dates available for uh, the Duck Shack. Have you seen the Duck Shack? Oh yeah. Okay, so I have it available. Um, I can fit through the 17th. Um, I, those are the two dates in December as of right now that are even open. Uh, th those are actually the last dates. So. Say so December 14th through the what? Uh, 14th through the 17th, and then. So yeah, and you said you do, you get out of school the sixth. Yeah, I get okay. out the sixth. Okay, so that would be, um, honestly, that's probably the only option as of right now in December. 
Uh, let's go backwards to November. We have, uh, let's see, we have, all of our packages are three days of hunting, um, three meals a day, full lodging. Um, and then if you've been watching the videos, Burt's meals are never going to be hot dogs and macaroni for, for dinner, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then um, we clean and process all your birds and make sure, mm -hmm. make sure that they're federal, federally legal to go over state lines with you on the yeah. way home. So yeah. we do, we do le leave a wing on every single bird for identification. Um, so okay. when you come, you do need to bring um, a large cooler for those yeah. birds to take them back. So if, if you fly, just let me know. But um, November, that's that. And then January, I don't know if you're available. We have... Um, yeah, January would be fine too. Okay. Uh, we have, um, if you want to lock down a date, uh, we, we lock you down. And then right away, I'll send you an online invoice for 50% of mm -hmm. the group. And I give you three weeks to pay that. So it's not just yeah. right now. Um, and then oh, the other... Okay. The other 50% is just due when you arrive. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, that sounds good, man. I, I appreciate you giving me a call and everything. This is, It was a lot easier to talk on the phone than to you know, read an email or something. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, at the beginning of each season, Beth kind of, she'll, she'll do all of our rebooking, you know, with guys yeah. that have already been here. But when it is new folks, they have a lot of questions, and uh, that's kind of one another reason why, I call is, is to be able to answer all those questions about birds or the weather or mi migration or what's in season and what shells to bring and all this stuff. But, uh, but yeah, if you figure something out, just give me a call back on this number. If I miss you, don't forget to leave me a voicemail. Uh, leave a voicemail. So, okay. yep, so, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, buddy. Well, yeah, man, that, that sounds real good. I appreciate you giving me a call. I I, I mean, I really was not expecting you to call me. That was pretty, uh, pretty neat to be able to talk to you. Then it's, it's weird watching a bunch of videos and seeing you on videos all the time and actually hearing you talk. Right. It's, <laughs> I literally, That's this is, cool. this is the first video I'm doing like this of calling clients. And it's funny. You were the first call that I've made and it's the best. Oh, well, <laughs> I was hoping, feel special uh, there. I, I was hoping I'd get one at, one guy like you to answer that phone and because it's all the time it, it is amazing like it's uh it's one of my priorities to keep it authentic and, and show people yeah. you know I, m my wife and, and my crew help me a lot but i still try to be a one-man band as much as i can and, and uh, oh yeah yeah man we've been me and my buddies we've been man we've been following your videos for a long long time so gotcha. i mean we're well, man we've been watching since ducks was even you know started so right Oh, that's awesome, dude. Sorry. So you're you're well over the five year mark watching me. Oh yeah, yeah. We we are long time watchers. That's awesome, dude. But, uh, well, yeah, man. I, I appreciate you giving me a call. No problem. Like I appreciate I said, you. Gonna, uh, I'll be getting back in touch with you, and uh, as soon as this video drops, I'm gonna have to let my buddies know because they I'm gonna call them right after this, and they will not believe me. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Tell them uh, tell them we have, we have a good time out here, and, and get your butts down here, and. And uh, if you have any other questions whatsoever, feel free to call anytime. All right, buddy. I appreciate it. All righty. Have a good Sunday evening, man. Uh, you too. All righty. We'll see you. That was, that was awesome. All right. So next one up, um, this is Jonathan. <clears throat> Looks like he might be from Michigan. Maybe. Uh, ages. Oh, man. Listen to this one, babe. Uh, they want a goose hunt. He said three to four guys total ages 15 to 73, Sweet. all in good enough shape for a goose hunt. Sweet. Good old boys. Let's call Jonathan. He actually filled out two forms back to back. Yeah. So he is very interested. Let's see. So if this is an older dude. Um, it'll be funny to see what his reaction is. A lot of the older gentlemen are, uh, have a lot more patience and kind of don't get so surprised, but some do. Some, some really do. It's, you never know. Here we go. Maybe he's the 15 year old. <laughs> Jonathan might be the 15 year old. I bet he's 30. Think he's 30? It's always fun calling people. You never know. Um, they're not expecting this call, so I think that's what's really fun about it. And it's uh, every day I do this. Every 
every day. I love it. It's a lot of fun. We're gonna get a voicemail. I hate when it goes to you've reached voicemail. Da 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 da. And then. Hi, it's time to get to the phone at this time. If you leave your name, older number, guy. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. At least the voicemail's not full. To send a fax, press four now. To leave a callback number, press five. It's the longest one I've ever heard. Hey Jonathan, this is Bobby Guy from Sand Hill Flyways. I seen that you filled out the booking form. Just calling you to see if I can answer any uh, any questions you might have and see if we can make something work out for you. When you get this, give me a call back whenever. Have a good evening. Oh, uh, okay. You, a lot of you have heard me talk about this, and I bet you 60% of our clientele somewhere in there. I don't have a definite like percentage. But so many, so many father-sons end up coming because of the YouTube channel. It's so special. We've had seven-year-olds um, at all ages come with their dads, and it's so much fun. Uh, this is two guys, father-son, and he says that they have son and him have watched the channel for a very long time, and they want to come hunt with me. This is Robert from... don't know. May not even have a voicemail. Okay, no voicemail. All right, next up, we're already ringing. Du they're interested in duck hunt. Hello. Hi, is this uh, Carson? Uh, no, that's his mom. Okay, this is Bobby Guy from Sand Hill Flyway. Um, it yes. looks, it looked like he, uh, or or he might have filled out a booking form for a guided hunt. Um, I'm just calling uh, to see if I can answer any of your guys' questions um, to see if uh, we can get something worked out for y'all. I don't know if it was maybe him and him and dad wanting to come or. It could have been. I just I actually just pulled in. Okay. Um, I've been gone all day, so it could have been that they were sitting there talking about it, trying to find out. Because um, Jeremy, my husband's not the most. Uh, <laughs> Peter Savvy. Person, so. <laughs> and it was definitely your son. Okay, if you want to just yeah. go in there, if they want to call me back this evening, that they okay. are more than welcome to. Alrighty, we're going to end up getting a call back from them. This is Tony. The next one's Tony, two to four guys. Um, says he's just curious. Hello, long time YouTube subscriber, and was curious of your prices for a hunt. I would love to bring my daughter and possibly my dad and brother to hunt with you. Thanks for info on this. So one thing that I've preached on the videos, like if you guys end up filling out a booking form, make sure your phone number's correct. Like double check it, because I've ran into a lot of issues with that. This is Tony from North Carolina. Come on, come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. This is our last one of. Hello. Hey Tony, it's Bobby Guy from Sand Hill Flyways. How are you? This is who? Bobby Guy from Sand Hill Flyways. Okay. Uh, I I do guided hunts for waterfowl, duck, and geese, and it looks like that you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it looks like you filled out a oh, form. Oh, you me for a minute there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks yeah, just getting a hold of you, see if I can answer any questions for you, man. Okay, yeah, I'm just curious today uh, how much it would cost for one of the hunts. Okay, um, first off, uh, November. Alrighty, next day. Um, next day, the old flip phone is charged and ready to go. Um, like I was saying though, this is <clears throat> this is my off-season job, man. This is uh, what I do in the summer times, and it's a lot of fun for me. I uh, really enjoy. I enjoy booking hunts. It's part of my career. That's um, that's my livelihood. That's my job. Uh, this is part of my daily job. Part of my daily job every day is an accumulative of a lot of different things. Uh, one day could be a lot of duck stuff that I'm talking and negotiating with or going to Dallas with, with Austin and Brad. Uh, lots of videos every day. Uh, using my brain to come up with how to uh, promote better and, and uh, making the lodge better or building something. Fishing, hunting, making those videos, all this stuff. I'm I'm busy. So I hope you guys like this video. I really do. 
This is Thomas. He left me a voicemail. Hey, Bobby. Uh, my name is Nick Thomas, Old Georgia. Oh. If you could give me a call back whenever it's convenient for you. I just had a question about set up a hunt for this upcoming goose or duck season. 10-4. Thank you. Look forward to hearing from Nick. Nick from Georgia. That's his name. Let's give him a ring. Lots of voicemails, but it is uh, 5.50 in the evening here, Central Standard Time. So this is a perfect time to start calling people. Ooh, look, I'm getting a call back. That's probably the... Okay, he's not going to answer. We're going to answer this call, though. Should be a client. Hi, this is Bobby. Hey, Bobby, it's Mark Bullen, sir. Good, man. How, how are you doing? Nah, man, I'm doing better than I deserve, that's for sure. Well, good. Good to hear, dang it. <laughs> good, yeah, good. Man. Um, hey, um, I, I talked to you about a week ago um, about coming down like in a couple of days. I know you probably talked to a thousand people, but um, I was checking to see if the, I thought at some point you said the 11th through the 14th, and if, if now's not a good time to talk, you tied up, I can I catch up with you a little bit. Oh, no, later. no, no, yeah. Holy smokes. So, I just had a couple missed calls, two missed calls. Travis. Hey, good sir, this is Travis Woodridge, um, down here in Northeast Oklahoma, Southeast Kansas. Uh, I had a couple questions for you, nothing crazy important. You can call me back uh, whenever you get time okay. to BS a little bit. I'd BS a little bit, man. I don't know if I have time to BS right now. <laughs> uh let's see here so i'm gonna call him back in a minute i'm gonna see if we have any inquiries on the booking forms all right this is uh sam he says he has five guys that want to come down to hunt we're gonna call him and see what he has to say see if we can hook him up hopefully he answers every time i say that it's usually a voicemail when i so these this is the initial call hello Hi, is this Sam? It is. Hi, this is Bobby Guy from Sand Hill Flyway. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing really well. Uh, doing really well. Um, seeing that you filled out the booking form and just seeing if I can answer any questions for you. Okay. Yeah. Do you know um, do you know what date or what month you're kind of wanting to come? Well, I was, I was looking at one of your videos and you were talking about how you had a couple dates open this year. And I was just, I really wanted to just talk to you and see what those dates were okay yeah we can do that um well that was a really good conversation with sam uh he has four to five guys um and he actually wants to get six or more and book out the duck shacks so that would be awesome next we're going to call thomas um says he's uh <clears throat> thomas from mantechi i don't know where that is uh, four guys, even if we don't kill a single duck, I still enjoy seeing the sunrise and enjoying the outdoors. Those are the guys that I really like to call because they understand hunting and you don't have to, if something don't go, you know, how you want it, they understand. Hunting's hunting. Okay, I was hoping that was going to be too many. All right, here, I was hoping it wasn't going to be too many. We're on. Here's Thomas. He might be older with, with a statement like that. You know what I mean? Hello? Hey, Thomas. This is Bobby Guy from Sand Hill Flyway. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Bob? Doing good, man. I've seen you filled out the booking form, and I'm here just to answer any possible questions, see if we can get something set up for you. Okay, yes, sir. Yeah. You, um, so i seen it's, you have four guys for sure? I would say four, but three for sure. Okay. Um, where are you from? Mississippi. 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 Gotcha. Uh, do you have a month in mind that you were kind of looking at that worked for you initially? Uh, just any month, honestly. Okay. You're just um, open. Um, <clears throat> so that being said, we have uh, we have no November. We have availability pretty much for that many guys, November, December, January. I really do. Yes, sir. I see all your films. I hope to be there too. Well, right on, man. I hope you can. I hope we can make it work. If the boys say pull the trigger, call me as soon as you can, and we'll right. we'll get her taken care of. Okay. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Appreciate it too, man. Have a good evening. Be Bye. Bye.
Right on. He's gonna he is definitely gonna call back and book at least uh what happened to this phone? It's going crazy. I don't know why it still rocked this flip phone. Uh yeah, four to five dudes right there. He's gonna wait. It, haven't booked anything yet, I don't think, on the video. But this is part of the process, guys. As of right now, I don't know how long this video is going to be, uh, but I have, so that's Thomas, I have one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more people to call tonight at 6.30. I started an hour and a half ago, and I've only talked to three guys. Every conversation is, like, limited, like... It, minimum I should say 10 minutes long uh, up to 30 minutes a piece so I love talking to you guys this is um the first thing right before I started recording he was like man I really appreciate you calling you being the one to answer my questions and everything else I'm like dude I wouldn't have it any other way and he was like well dude if it wasn't this way we probably wouldn't be so interested to get this done and get this booked I appreciate it Bobby and I'm like Thank you. Those are the those are the kind positive words that keep me going. That keep me doing this. Thank you guys. Okay. This could very well be <clears throat> after reading this guy's uh, bio, not bio, I shouldn't say. Tyler, after reading his description, we any there's a question on here on the form that you fill out and it says anything you would like us to know. And his is very long and descriptive and he is a huge fan this this reaction should be pretty darn good by just by the way this reads you know what I mean okay three, three. I always got to make sure it's the right number I've messed up so many times typing it in on the old flipper here we go. Hopefully it'll... Please answer. Hello? Hey, is this Tyler? Yes, it is. Hi, this is Bobby Guy. How are you? Good. How are you doing, sir? Doing good, man. I've seen that you filled out the booking form and uh, just reaching out to answer any questions for you. Uh, you know, not just, just not, not much. I enjoy the show and just actually about to head to work and everything like that. But um... Are you a third shifter? Yeah, I got the got the graveyard shift. Dude, I I know all about that. <laughs> yeah, I know yeah, all about sucks. that. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does suck. It does oh, yeah. suck. You'll get over it, and you'll 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 get out of it one day. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully pretty soon. But yeah, yeah, I gotta put in the time like everybody else. <laughs> you darn right. That's the way it goes. Um, yeah. So um, a groomsman deal. You're getting married, and you want to do uh, a groomsman trip. Yeah, so well, it's, I'm not getting married. It's my it's my best friend. Gotcha. Uh, he's he's the one getting married, but I'm kind of like trying to set this up. <laughs> oh, awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, how it goes? Um, I really, uh, I appreciate you reaching out, and I, I hope that we can make something work. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll definitely be in touch. Let me uh, get with the guys and send out some texts and get some numbers going and everything like that and now i'll get back to you all right sounds good dude have a good good evening <laughs> i'm gonna try thank you right on all right next caller i'm kind of clipping it up i don't i can't just put like everyone's full conversation on there because we're talking about a lot of personal stuff that not everybody in the world needs to hear this is tony tony hey tony I should answer the phone like that. Hey, Tony! Ooh, I bet he ain't gonna answer. Okay, next one's Charlie. Um, says, anything you would like us to know? He says, I like hunting. Me too, Charlie. Me too. Heck yeah. This is always fun. You, you, you never know who's gonna be on the other end of that phone. And they do not expect me to call. Hopefully we get a good reaction here. The reason I'm doing this video because the amount of reactions I haven't filmed are unreal. Voicemail again. <clears throat> Alright, this All right, this is Seth. He said, I've been wanting to surprise my dad 
on a trip to hunt in Kansas for a while and just wanted to know any open dates for this season. All right, we got Nick. He's got five. He's interested in the lodge or the duck shack. And he said he owns a small plumbing business that he wouldn't mind. See, he's from Minnesota. Minnesota, trading out some services. This is the farmer's way. You've got to be farmers, guys. Any personal business owner, entrepreneur, you have to farm your services. Farming back and forth, doing something for each other through business and saving each other a little bit of money is how farmers have survived for hundreds of and hundreds of years. A thousand years, who knows? Uh, it's a way of life, man, especially for, for any type of business owners. Uh, trading out services... Um, has been around for so long, and I love these type of calls. Oh, the guy from Kentucky's calling me back right now. So if this guy doesn't answer, I'm gonna try to answer this one in time. But if this guy answers, this guy gets ignored again. Not ignored, but not answered. When he just missed my call. Hi. Okay. Hi, this is Bobby. Uh, is this Bobby? Yep, this is Bobby. All right, uh, this is, uh, I was calling to, to talk about, like, any open dates you had. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir, yeah, I was just, I seen that you filled out the form, and, uh, uh, just trying to get a hold of you to answer any questions, man. All right, um. It's always uh, refreshing talking to the subscribers and um, and get you, getting you guys here, especially like your story, wanting to get some information to go to your mom to say, hey, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to surprise dad with. Like I said, if you did that at 16 years old, you're going to be the fourth teenager paying for your dad's hunt to bring him here. <laughs> for oh, yeah. the for this season, so that's just for this season four. So it's pretty amazing, man. Uh, just like you said, you respect me, but man, I respect kids like you that think about their dads and they want to uh, do something that he would never forget, you know, so. Oh yeah, um, yeah, he would remember this. Yeah, oh yeah, darn right he would. Especially when he knows, when he goes to your mom, he'd be like, nah, you paid for that. And she's gonna go, no, I did not. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I would say as of right now, let me refresh the old app here. I'd say we're caught up. We're caught up. In fact, to, did I call this guy? Uh, yes, I believe I would like to secure these dates. Hmm. Did he do that? Did not. Okay. Yeah, so that I am caught up. That was uh, an evening's worth of calls. I filmed some of them. You s I did film most of them, but you only seen some of them. Uh, the first guy off the video, he reacted the best, and, and sometimes the reactions are so great. Like this guy, that this, this guy, young gentleman, 16 years old, uh, trying to surprise his dad, his father, with a, uh, with a, with a guided hunt bringing him here surprising him so he wanted to get some dates locked down some prices locked down written down so he can present them to his mom <clears throat> to just talk about it seeing if dad would be up for it but mom ain't helping pay for anything it's just him and so he was like i ain't got too much summer left to to mow mow lawns and get it built up and um it's so rewarding seeing these boys um have that much respect for their fathers and and it's, it's so refreshing to be an American and see these young Americans like him holding up to his tradition. And his reason for doing it was, well, my dad has taken me to on guided hunts in Tennessee and Arkansas uh, for so long. And we haven't done one in a while. And I just feel like surprising him would be a, a good payback, you know, to, to dad. And, and um, it's insane, uh, the people I get to talk to, the stories. Uh, people go on guided hunts for two reasons to uh, experience a flyaway and a hunt the migration like they never had before Let's say they're from the East Coast or something or to create memories 
uh, with their loved ones, with their, with their best friends, with their brothers, with their fathers, with their grandfathers, with their mom. Everyone that calls, everyone I book, it's just people like you wanting to come and experience everything that is out here and, and what I do here in Kansas. I have no, and I mean this, I, 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 do, I do not believe I'm the best at any of this. I feel very, very, very privileged to be graced with such positive energy from every phone call that I make back. People wanting to come here and spend their hard, hard earned money. These times are tough, times are different. So, it'd be pretty poopy of me, let's put it that way, to not do it this way. That's why people are shocked, because they're like, I can't believe it's you calling me. I can't believe it's you answering the phone. You're really booking all these people. It's really just you. Yeah, it's me and my wife. She helps the other part of the other 50%, I, but I have, I've taken over calling everyone like I always have every year. So I take a lot of pride in it. I will never, um, I will never take this for granted with you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. Subscribe if you have not. Please hit that. Dude, I know it's old school. It sounds crazy. Hit the notification bell down there. It'll notify you when I upload. We got a lot of good content coming. Have a good one, y'all. Dove hunting season is just around the corner.